Hey everybody, Chris Wolf, PT here with Garrett McLaughlin. Um, looking forward to the upcoming running assessment that we're going to be talking about soon and wanted to discuss some aspects that what we look for in the actual video analysis and running analysis. Right now we're going to discuss overstriding. Okay? That's a big topic with a lot of runners and we don't really know what it means, what it looks like, or maybe even how to correct it. Okay? The reason why that's important for a runner to know what overstriding is or even how to correct it and come out of overstriding is because you want to reduce the amount of pressure, the amount of forces that go through like your foot, your heel, the ball of your foot, your knee, your hip, your lower back. You want to use your actual musculature to absorb those forces. Okay? If you're landing too hard or if you're overstriding, you're sending like a shock wave through your entire leg, which ultimately is either going to lead to some knee issues, hip issues, lower back, could lead to some stress fractures, um, some bone reactions that no runner wants. That's a sidelining injury. Nobody wants that. So how do we even correct an overstriding? And what does the overstriding even look like? Okay, we're going to show that. Stay tuned. And I'll show you actually how to correct that. Often. Rather demonstrate what overstriding looks like. Okay, again, defining what overstriding is when you're landing on your initial contact on your run outside of your center of mass, okay? So your front leg, when it makes contact to the ground, you're so out f far out in front of your body that your body can't even absorb the pressure and the forces from landing, okay? We just discussed why that's uh, an issue, okay? Too much pressure on the knee and hips. So I'm gonna sh demonstrate what that actually looks like, and then I'll tell you um, what it's gonna look like when we correct it, okay? All right, so a few seconds there of just a mild overstriding, okay? For some, that may actually look kind of normal, but for others, you can tell that I'm actually landing pretty far out in front of my body, okay? Pretty straight knee as well, and that's what we find. Um, right now, let's talk about what it looks like when that's corrected. So I'm gonna start with an overstriding gait pattern, and then I'm going to shorten it up, bringing my front leg closer to my body so that way my knee and my hip can actually absorb my body weight and pressure, okay? So starting with an overstriding gait pattern, and then I'm going to correct it. Okay. If you were closer to me, you could probably actually hear the sound of my footsteps get quieter. Usually when you're overstriding, it's hard to absorb forces, so you're going to sound louder when you're landing. I'm landing closer to my body right now, so I'm using my knee and my hip to absorb forces. Okay. Next video coming up, let's take a look at a slowed down version of that so you can appreciate what that difference looks like.